Hi, hello there YouTube and welcome to a Who review. I am Davros and I am a Whovian and today I am reviewing Doctor Who, The Time Meddler. So this is a 1965 serial where the Doctor, William Hartnell, takes his companions, Stephen and Vicky, to the year 1066 to observe, well, Viking culture and historicalness, but soon discover that things aren't as right when they discover that there is a monk and there's something a bit off about him. They soon find that he has a TARDIS and he too is a Time Lord that is on the run from his people. And the monk, of course, is played by Peter Butterworth. So, let's get on to my likes and dislikes about this classic serial. First of all, the likes. I like William Hartnell in this as the Doctor. Again, he's like, as he always is known for, being grumpy, old and important. And you've got to give it to him. William Hartnell started to feel unwell around this time and was getting difficult to work with, but he kept it together for this and kept and put up a great performance for this serial so I give it you gotta get take that off you gotta take your hat off for that for him. Uh, secondly I like the companions Stephen and Vicky played by Peter Purvis and uh, what's her name? Peter Purvis and Maureen O'Brien um, they played the companions in this but of course, another one who stole the show in some of his moments were Peter Butterworth as the monk. Now, apparently he loved his part in the show. And, you know, this was probably the first serial where we actually meet another Time Lord. I don't think, back then, I don't think we'd really seen another person of his species. You know, this was the first serial which featured another Time Lord and it wasn't the Doctor. Not only that, we got to see another TARDIS, which looked pretty much the same from the inside, but uh, his TARDIS was disguised as a tomb, or some, something small, and could probably disguise as anything, because his chameleon circuit wasn't broken. But, uh, yeah, I liked uh, his, you know, Peter Butterworth's character as the meddling monk, who wanted to meddle with time, who was meddling with time, and wanted to like rewrite history, make it so Shakespeare could have his plays televised on television or or something. You know, he was just up to mischief, rewriting history and meddling with time, hence its title, The Time Meddler. Um Yeah, so yeah, I don't think he was a real villain, I just think he had different beliefs and thought, you know, maybe humans should like get a little boost, you know, a little help you know, evolving in time as such. But of course, when you rewrite time, there can be dangerous paradoxes and the Doctor couldn't allow that. Despite the Doctor running away from his people, he still travelled the universe and observed it, but protected it if he had to. And of course, he had to stop the monk in this. And of course, he does stop the monk by doing sabotaging his TARDIS and making it shrink from the inside so he couldn't get, so he couldn't escape or whatever. Of course, this wasn't the last time we saw the monk. No, he uh, appeared again in another serial called the Daleks Master Plan, which is a lost serial. So we don't know. You, know, I mean, I hope one day they either find the footage or they reanimate the story because that does sound like an interesting story. And of course. Um, you know, Nicholas Courtney featured in that one as well. Not as the Brigadier, but as a different character. Uh, but yeah, the Time Meddler. I think this is a, a bit of an underrated uh, Doctor Who story. Um, you know, I think William Hartnell is great as the Doctor. One thing they didn't get historically accurate was when they found the Viking helmet. The Viking helmet had horns on. Now, according to historians, Vikings never had horns on their helmets. That was a fragment of people's imagination or fiction or whatever but you know who cares it, it, I think this this serial I think was also meant to be somewhat 
educational because Doctor Who was originally meant to be an educational show and I think in this we got a little bit of a history lesson from the Doctor as well given the year that they're in, 1066 and we all know what happened in 1066 the Battle of Hastings so, um, yeah, final thoughts and ratings I thought this serial was interesting it was a fun one to watch it definitely you know, gave us another Time Lord other than the Doctor and the Monk how has he never got his own spin-off? I mean, he could have, but I don't know. I think the Monk is, again, a very underrated character, and I would love to see him return in the modern era, like, at least come across Jodie Whittaker. The, the once, whether it's just the once or something. You know, bring more Time Lords back other than the Master or, or Rassilon. I ought to do a top five or something on that. Top five things I want to see in Series 12. Uh, anyways, um, this one. Um, you know, Doctor Who the Time Meddler I enjoyed this serial uh, so with all that being said I'm going to give Doctor Who the Time Meddler do you know what I'm actually giving this a 4 out of 5 because I did like it and it's very underappreciated so 4 out of 5 for Doctor Who the Time Meddler so that is it for this Who review have you seen the Time Meddler let me know down in the comments below tell me what you think if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And to hit that notification bell. All of my social media links are down below in the description. So, I've been Davros the Hoovian, and until next time, for your life.